assalamu alaikum and welcome back to your students so the basic aim for this video and the upcoming video uh, is that i have seen that some of there are some of students in pakistan uh, which are unable to understand the lectures delivered by their corresponding instructors and teachers so uh, without any cost free of cost uh, i aimed to upload the videos of mathematics to those the special students who are unable to understand or for which it is very difficult to understand the lecture delivered by their instructors or their teachers <laughs> so and uh, my aim is to uh, make uh, the idea of the theorems the idea of the topics clearer to them i will also upload uh, some uh, uh, difficult uh, exercises from the uh, upcoming exercises exercises questions so uh, this topic comprises of <coughs> the theorem uh, which is corresponding uh, to the ordered properties order properties of set of real numbers uh the students which are which do not know the don't know the ordered properties of a set of real numbers they are referred to my first lecture i start from right now theorem number 1.3 uh, right on the page number page number 3 what is the statement of this very simple theorem this theorem states that if a b c and d are any real numbers let a b c and d are four real numbers we have then if the first statement is if a is greater than b then a plus b is greater than b plus c and this also holds for the uh, uh, subtraction uh, the minus sign a minus c is also greater than b minus c again if a is greater than b then a plus c is greater than b plus c what is c this was an inequality a is greater than c we added c on both sides of this inequality we added c in a and c in b and we notice that the inequality is unaffected since it is greater than and it is also here greater than and also here greater than okay is it clear i explain it there uh we have to prove that if there is an inequality a uh, greater than b for example this is an inequality and Uh, we want to add c in this inequality this means that i want to uh, add uh, c in the both sides of this inequality then the sign will remain as it is this is greater than or equal to means that the, the inequality is unaffected when you add the same number on the both sides okay for example if we choose a equal to we have to choose a number which is greater than this for example we can choose a equal to 2 and we can choose b equal to 1 okay we can see that 2 is greater than 1 a is greater than b 2 is greater than 1 2 is greater than 1 therefore a is also greater than b so if you add any other real number for example you can add uh, c equal to c is equal to uh, 5 any real number you can add on both sides then what would you see a is greater than b means 2 is greater than 1 we have chosen a equal to 2 and b equal to 1 if you add 5 on both sides 2 plus 5 and in here 1 plus 5 then 2 plus 5 is 7 1 plus 5 is 6 it means that this is greater than this so it's very obvious fact that if we add a real number 5 for example c equal to 
in an equality, then the inequality is unaffected. Unaffected means that the sign is unaffected. Unaffected. Uh, if it, it were greater than, then it remains the greater than on adding C on both sides. Is it clear? The same case holds for negative sign. If you subtract C on both sides, the result would be uh, the same. Okay, uh, you should do it by yourself. Okay, the second statement is if A is greater than B. Now we had two inequalities A is greater than B and C greater than uh, D. Then A plus C is greater than B plus D. It means that if there are two inequalities, this and this, we can add these inequalities. For example, left hand side of this inequality is added into uh, uh, the left hand side of this inequality and the right hand side of this inequality is added into this uh, is added into the right hand side of this inequality and the result is obvious if you want to check it you have to put a b c and d uh, you should assign some values to a b c and d and you you should put it into in this equation so that to check that the whole if the whole if the result holds okay you have to do it by yourself just simply choose A equal to the, some value such that A is greater than B, C is greater than B, D. You have to choose some such values such that this holds. Then you will put those values into this inequality and you will have to check that if it holds or not, it will definitely hold, okay? However, the proof of this theorem is not in the scope of your book. It is written here. The proof of this theorem is omitted. If someone wants the proof of this theorem, I will provide it if he asks because I already have the proof of these theorems. I have proved them here. There are some important theorems about the uh, ordered properties. And there are the theorems, these theorems, and I have proved them here. If someone asks to prove them, I will provide it in an other video however it is not in your uh, textbook they are not in the scope of your uh, your syllabus similarly the fourth property is if a is greater than b c is sorry the third property is if a is greater than b and c is greater than zero then A multiplied C is greater than B multiplied by C. And A divided by C is greater than B divided by C. Uh, to explain it, again, uh, consider the statement. Again, focus on the statement. There is an inequality. A is greater than B. And we have a number C, which is positive, greater than zero, which is positive. If you will multiply both sides of this inequality by this positive number, then the inequality sign remains the same. If it were greater than, it remains as uh, the same. Greater than here, if you will multiply C on both sides, then this sign of greater than remains the greater, greater than, okay? I will explain it there. Okay, for example, you choose you want to choose a is greater than b so for example 2 is greater than 1 you have assigned a equal to 2 and b equal to 1 so you choose c uh, a greater than 0 number for example you can choose uh, c equal to um, 3 or 5 any and when you want uh, if you will multiply c on both sides you multiply 2 by 3 if you will multiply 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 also, what does it become? 3 multiplied by 2 is uh, is equal to 6 and 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3. So 6 into 6 and 3, what's their relation? Uh, 6 is always less than 3. Oh, sorry, greater than 3. So 6 comes out to be greater than 3. What does it mean? There was an inequality a greater than b or 2 is greater than 1, so like 2 is greater than 1. And I multiplied 
a number three which is obviously greater than zero what i uh, observed here when i multiplied both sides of this inequality by three down here then i got this result six and three i got on the uh, left hand side the result six and on the right hand side the result three and we know that six is greater than three therefore therefore the same sign will hold uh, in the inequality if you will multiply both sides of this inequality by a positive number but if you multiply a negative number on both sides of this inequality for example if you multiply minus three on both sides then the result is minus six and minus three and we know that this result is not true because minus c is smaller number and minus three is greater number if you will check it on the real line system then we know that the numbers on the right side of origin increase if you will move from here to in here one two three four the numbers are increasing if you move from left to right uh, in the same way this is minus one this is minus two this is minus three minus four minus five minus six if you will move uh, from here to here the numbers will decrease it means that minus three is greater number than minus six and we all know this so this in, uh, inequality doesn't hold therefore if you will if, if uh, an equality is given a is greater than b if you multiply c on both sides of this inequality and if c is greater as uh, greater than zero if c is greater than zero then the then the um, uh, sign would be greater than but if c is less than zero we know that this uh, this sign will change and, and will become less than b c is that clear if it were less than this becomes uh, greater than in what case if c is less than zero a negative number clear Uh, and uh, similarly, uh, if uh, A is greater than B, A is greater than B, if you will divide uh, uh, it, this inequality by C, and if C is greater than zero, then this holds, okay? If A is greater than B, if you divide both sides by a number C, which is less than zero, then uh, what does this become? over c the inequality reverse it was greater than now it becomes less than because c is less than zero okay so the fourth property was if a is greater than zero third was if a is greater than zero if you multiply a positive number on both sides or divide it on both sides of this inequality then the sign of re uh, inequality does not reverse it remains as it is okay uh, if you multiply a negative number on both sides of this inequality the sign will reverse it will become less than if it were greater than if it were greater than it will become less than okay and vice versa for also uh, uh, division okay the next uh, property is if a is greater than zero if a is any uh, positive number then the uh, then it's uh, reciprocal will also be a positive number. Obviously, if A is two, then one over two is equal to 0 0.5, it is also a positive number. Uh, similarly, if A is a negative number, then it's reciprocal, one over A is also less than zero, which is also a negative number, okay? Uh, the sixth property is, if A and B have the same signs, and if A is greater than B, then one over A is less than one over B. Again, if a and b have the same signs then and a is greater than b you are given two uh, uh, two statements if a and b are positive uh, sorry if a and b have same signs then one over a is less than one over b to explain this uh, property uh, check it a is greater than b both have same signs for example 3 is greater than plus 1 then if you will reciprocate this inequality reciprocate reciprocate it 
if this is written three divided by one, you can write it. Uh, sorry, if you will reciprocate, reciprocate it, it will become one over three, and this will become. Oh, you you take it. Uh, for simplicity, you you take it two, and this will become one over two. Who is greater? Who is greater between them? This is zero point three 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 three, and this is zero point five zero. Which is greater? This is the greater. Sorry, this is the smaller, and this is the greater number. Therefore, the inequality will reverse. Again, this means that if A is greater than B, and they both have the same signs, even if it is a minus number. Sorry, if A is greater than B, then one over A is less than one over B. It means that if you will uh, invert an inequality, then the sign will change. Is it clear? What is written there in the seventh uh, sorry seventh property or seventh statement? If a is greater than b, then a is greater than a plus b divided by two is greater than b. This is your homework. You have to simply uh, put uh, the different values of uh, no sorry. You will uh, you choose for example you choose a uh, equal to two and b equal to one and put it down in this whole inequality then you will get the result this is your assignment to do this however the eighth property is if a b is greater than zero and a b then a b uh, have the same signs okay I'll explain it here it says that If A and B have same signs, if A and B both have same signs, if both are positive numbers, for example, A is three and B is five, two, then the result is six. And we know that this six is greater than zero. Therefore, the product of two numbers whose sign A are same is always greater than zero. Even if you will choose negative three and negative two, then this becomes plus six which is also greater than zero. This means that if A and B have same signs, then their product is greater than zero, clear? Similarly, if A and B have opposite signs, for example, A you choose three and B you choose minus two, then it comes out to be minus six, which is less than zero. It means that if A and B have opposite signs, then their product is always be negative, always be less than zero, clear?